So we are in the first full week of April, and any other year, that would mean crunch time for millions of Americans trying to file their taxes, but not this year, not because of the coronavirus. Tax filing day is actually going to be pushed back three months, July 15th. So what does that mean for you, right? We're going to bring in tax attorney Song Hee Hong to talk a little bit about, I don't know, the benefits and also the other implications of pushing tax filing day back until July. Um, so Song, this seems like, you know, there are some benefits because at least you have more time to file your taxes. But can we talk about the pros and cons and other implications? Absolutely. So more than happy to chat about that. So now uh, the good news is that for 2019, taxpayers have three additional months, as you mentioned, to both file and pay their taxes owed. So given everything that's been going on this year, this provides a little bit of additional time. And again, if you have a tax liability that you expect to pay, you have additional time to pay that as well. Uh, another benefit for the 2020 year is that estimated income tax prepayments, which were typically due on April 15th, are now also going to be extended to July 15th. And I should say that so from Song, a process uh, standpoint, there's no need to file deadline extension paperwork. Hmm. That is a very uh, that is a positive note to point out. Um, and Song, the IRS is still recommending taxpayers who are expecting a refund to file as soon as possible. Uh, you know, it's funny because I, perhaps like millions of other Americans, have not even been focused on tax season. Uh, I perhaps should have filed early in January, but now it's crunch time uh, in a normal period. Do you think that if you file by April 15th and you are due a refund, you will be able to get that refund at a reasonable time or will it also be pushed back? So that's an excellent point. The IRS currently expects that refunds to still be issued within the typical time frame of, of about 21 days. That being said, as a taxpayer, I would say um, if you know that you're entitled to receive a tax refund and you're ready to file for 2019, why wait? I would just file that return. Um, and let's talk about the stimulus check now. We know that um, filing your taxes last year plays a role in this whole thing. Um, how do we? How do you know if you actually qualify for any of this stimulus package? Absolutely, that really is the top question on everyone's mind. So the first thing to lay out is that there are income thresholds in order to be eligible to qualify for this economic impact or stimulus check. So if you're an individual taxpayer. Um, if you have income up to, um, and that's um, adjusted gross income, up to 75000 then you would qualify for, up for the full amount of $1,200. If you are a married joint filing taxpayer and you have an AGI up to $150,000, then you are also going to qualify for that full amount of $2,400. You also get up to $500 per qualifying child. Now, that benefit starts to phase out incrementally as your income increases. So the, the actual phase out is $5 per every 100 above the filing threshold. And unfortunately, this benefit is cut off completely at 99000 for individuals and 198000 for joint filers without children. I should also note here that if you're a Social Security recipient or a railroad retiree, and you typically are not required to file a tax return, you still do not have to file a tax return. You will still get the benefit of that um, through what I assume to be a check in the mail or direct deposit. Hmm. Really, really good advice there. Uh, Sanghee Han, thank you so much. We appreciate it. Absolutely. Thank you.